Welcome, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be learning how to create a sentiment analysis flow that is going to analyze an email. So let's say for example our boss sends us an email and we get a notification saying that this email has some negative sentiment in it or positive sentiment. So that could prepare you maybe for a, a strange message inside an email. Anyways, let's see how this, how we can accomplish something like this. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a flow. For this, we will be using the AI Builder as well. So let's create an automated flow, a flow that is going to be triggered when we receive an email. So let's name this flow. And let's search for a trigger that could be, in my case, I will be using Gmail, but you could be using whatever email provider you want. So when a new email arrives, let's create it. And that's the first step. So we can customize this, meaning that if uh, we can select the inbox or where, uh, which part of our email that we want to monitor for an incoming email. Also, if we go into the advanced option, we can customize the incoming emails. So we can customize the from or the to or the subject so that we match it exactly to the email that we want to analyze with, uh, uh, analyze and do sentiment analysis on. So the next step that we have to do is uh, we have to add the AI Builder. Now, the AI Builder is part of Power Automate and if you have a subscription, you should be able to use it. Now, uh, creating an environment to be able to use AI Builder is a very straightforward process, so I will not be getting into it, but let's, uh, let's get immediately into the action of the AI Builder. So, the, what we want to do is we want to analyze the sentiment of the email. So, once we select the AI Builder action, if we search for sentiment, we'll find the analyze positive or negative sentiment in text. Now, if we select this, we have different languages also from which we can choose from. This is uh, really cool because it doesn't just work with English. So in our example, we are going to select English and the text, the text is going to come from the email. So we can do this in different ways. We can either select here and paste in the body of the message, or we could maybe take the uh, body uh, body and initialize a variable and put it inside of a variable and use that variable uh, throughout the process. In this case, let's keep it simple. Let's just put the body of the, of the email uh, and analyze it with sentiment analysis. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we would like a notification to tell us whether this, uh, whether this email has positive or negative sentiment. So let's send an email notification just as an example. This is wrong. Let's send, send it to, let's see which account is configured. Okay, this is the account. And now let's add the subject. The subject is going to be the email. And let's add maybe the title of the email. And here let's write the, uh, let's write the outcome, uh, meaning positive or negative sentiment. So the sentiment is overall text sentiment. We can select the action. Uh, and also let's find out from who this email was. can also do it like this. Uh, 
uh, to subject body sender's name. Perfect. Excellent. Let's test our process and see what happens. So let's save it. Let's go over here and click on the test. Manually save and test and let's run our flow. So before our flow can execute, we are going to have to send an email. So I will send myself an email. Let's see. Excellent, I have just received my email. Now let's see if we can see what the message of the email was. Now if we go into the detail, we can see that we got a response, probability of overall text that is natural. So this is just some random, uh, just some random news that I took. President Trump issued an executive order on Monday. Uh, it's found to be neither negative nor positive, and it told us that the uh, probability is 96, 96% uh, chance that this is neutral, neutral text, with 0.03 percent chance that is leaning towards negative now also i will show you that we have received a email from microsoft flow i have accidentally deleted it so this is uh, this is pretty much it this is how you create a sentiment analysis on an email and have a trigger email sent you with the verdict of that email i hope you enjoyed it i uh, i hope you enjoyed this flows that have some artificial intelligence in them obviously if we add artificial intelligence to our rta flows we are able to automate more make more uh, automate more of the actions and therefore achieve more of the end-to-end -end automation so i hope you enjoy this if you have not already subscribed downstairs give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching